Cycle World Magazine got an exclusive opportunity to ride Harley Davidson's prototype live wire electric motorcycle at a secret location in Orange County, California. Harley Davidson intends to take this motorcycle to dealers around the country, let consumers ride it, and provide feedback. If there is enough positive interest, there is a good chance that Harley will put this electric motorcycle into production. The sound that we've developed for this motorcycle is uniquely our own. It is not silent, it's the farthest thing from it. It will have a very distinct sound that's a result of the architecture that we've chosen for electric. So unlike other products out there that are very quiet and silent, this will not be. A lot of the people who have ridden this motorcycle say it sounds like a jet turbine, and yeah. we think that's a pretty accurate description of it. Yeah, approaching the design of this motorcycle is a very unique challenge and, and a great opportunity. So, um, but just like our V-twin engines, we've highlighted the motor on this motorcycle. Um, and it's really at the heart of the design of this motorcycle. So, we start with proportions and profile. And just designing around a big black box of batteries isn't that exciting. So we wanted to make sure we had the right emphasis. So first of all, it's the motor, and then the frame. And you'll see this very strong gestural uh, frame that goes from the handlebars all the way to the rear wheel. And like many of our bikes, hard tails, soft tails, and it allows the rider to kind of sit in the bike and become part of that motorcycle. So that's a very important thing that you'll notice. As we look to the development of the demonstrator that you're seeing, you, you'll obviously notice that it's highly refined. And our engineering staff is a group of highly talented and technical people. So the resources that we have internal are certainly bigger than some of the other people that are out there in the two-wheeled space. But it isn't just about that. It is about the innovation and, and the robust product development process that we use for all of our products. This one happens to be a demonstrator but it was built using the same fundamental principles that we use in all of our engineered bikes. We just know that we have this opportunity and as the market matures, as the infrastructure matures, uh, we want to use all those resources that we have at our disposal to make the greatest riding experience possible given this technology. This is a very different product in a lot of ways and, and again keeping it framed in a demonstrator and and us going out to the world to highlight the innovation meeting art that we're capable of, I think it will surprise a lot of a lot of customers and a lot of people out there that it's not what they would expect out of Harley Davidson. When you look to the customer base and the potential, certainly it has opportunities, but this bike in particular and our demonstration, the overall live wire, project live wire experience is about collecting that information and understanding what is that customer looking for. So we're out there um, giving the customers an opportunity to really have a great input and for us to glean information and use that for the future. This really just shows a commitment to our technology, our innovation, and, uh, and to the future. There is a level of maturity that has to come to the entire EV space, whether it be the battery or the electronics, power electronics. All of that is pretty expensive, as you're seeing in some of the MSRPs of commercially available vehicles. One of the reasons that we're looking at the demonstrator experience is to solicit some of that feedback and keep an eye on as those technologies mature. Of course, if we come to market, if we decide to go forward with a product of this nature, cost will always be a concern. It will be something that we will look to and we'll have to understand what the dynamics are, but that's one of yet another great opportunity that as we go and get feedback directly from customers, we can understand a little bit more on their price expectations. We really don't see it as a deviation away or, or turning away from any of our existing or core customers. It, it certainly a, it, it looks to a, a customer that we see as, a, as an additional opportunity, but it's not meant to be an indicator that we are moving away from core or any of our other products. Well, all. we're really looking for a progressive customer. It could be young adult, uh, a next generation customer, and somebody who's uh, really willing to take a chance into this uh, electric space, someone who's not afraid. And also, we're also looking for emerging customers because motorcycling is for some people intimidating and this is, there's no gears. It's obviously a, a really pleasant riding experience. The honest answer is we haven't, we haven't really set any time frame if and when we decide to take this forward. We'll take that feedback and look at where it fits best in our product offering. Understand we're working on new product day in and day out. This is one of many future products. So 
from the standpoint of where it fits with our overall life cycle will be determined by the response is certainly a big factor of that whether we entertain is this something we want to do as a future business opportunity but right now there has been no time frame set to when when or if we would come out with the product okay. our first impression with the harley davidson live wire is very positive it's fast fun and more importantly feels like a real motorcycle just with an electric motor